my kids, um, yeah, I have a four and a half year old, two and a half year old, and um, and you know, basically, I'm a you know homeschooler, I'm unschooler, closer to unschooler, and uh, and it's uh, you know, so far it's kind of it's kind of tame, you know, not really um, doing it hardcore, I guess, because uh, I can I can I can usually give the excuse that uh, you know he's not old enough to go to school. So uh, people just like stop asking questions, but <laughs> but most of the time I like to engage people, you know, in um, talking about their kids and school, and you know, you know, I ask people, you know, did you enjoy your school, you know, your school years, right? And and if it, most of the people are honest, right, they say well, no. <laughs> so how can you how can you possibly force your kid to go through the same experience if you had a horrible time, right? Which sounds a little bit sadistic to me, right? <laughs> Um, do, do you get this? Do you get this um, this experience too, Jeremy? Um, well, I haven't actually had to deal with it yet, but I, I will be in the uh, very near future. I have three and a half year old twins who we plan on home slash unschooling, uh, just to, to whatever extent uh, it ends up working out. Uh, but I definitely don't want to deal with the public schools because, as you said, I, I know what I, I I know how I felt going through them. And I don't want to put my daughters through the same thing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sure once, you know, like I said, they're only three and a half now. So once they get up to the age. I'm, I'm sure, sure that's going to be a big I'm argument. Sure. <laughs> well, no, like actually both both my parents were at, well, my mom's retiring at the end of this year. and My dad retired a, a few years back, but they were both educators and they both understand why we're going to be doing this. Uh, oh, really? So, so they're on board. That's cool. Yes, yeah, because, well, my mom's actually getting out now. She was going to stay in a few more years, but she's finally retiring because the Common Core just pushed her over the edge. And she, wow. just doesn't, she doesn't want to teach it. So I don't, I don't blame her. <laughs> Pretty much any standardized <clears throat> curriculum is an appeal to authority. That's all it teaches. Yeah, exactly, and also the uh, I guess you can say the the, the the broken window fallacy in that you know you're forced to you're forced to spend this amount of time, pretty much fifteen thousand hours of your youth, right, of the most impressionable years of your life, learning stuff that you don't you're not interested in and is not valuable and not relevant to your life. <laughs> so you can you can essentially say that's a waste of time. That's the definition of being a waste of time, right? <laughs> yes, that's yeah, absolutely. It, it would be considered a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and if and if if you know the state can force people, you know, to forfeit a portion of their income, they can force people to go to an you know a quote education institution when they're young. You know, they can they can force people to do all these things. Is that you know is that not considered um, slavery like right? Uh, maybe not one hundred percent slavery, but it, it's 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 a percentage of being enslaved, right? And <laughs> And I think that that's 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 what uh, what my, is when we say statism is slavery, right? My ma my main issue with public schooling is the knee jerk response you get when you tell the average person <clears throat> there shouldn't be public schools. Their their immediate response is, well, um, what do you just want a bunch of stupid people walking around? <laughs> like the, we want smarter people so we have a better society. And I asked them. In their definition, or in their experience, what is the greatest thing that the government has accomplished to an extent better than what uh, the, f the free market has? And, uh, of course, that question absolutely just blows their mind because there's not a, an answer for it because the government has never done anything like create a microprocessor that uh, is getting closer to the intelligence of a human. Like, the state will never do that because, like we've stated before, the state has to try to set up a racket and maintain that racket and innovation would only prove that that racket doesn't need to exist or it would uh, you know innovation would reduce the influence of that racket so when you have a public school and you ask someone well why should I be robbed if I don't have any kids or even if I do have kids and I don't want them to go to that public school, why should I be robbed to pay for other people, you know, uh, other people's kids? Does that make me a bad person that I, I don't want to be robbed? I will lose my house if I don't pay my property taxes. That's how schools are funded um, unless they are belly up and the federal government bails them out with our tax money anyway. So we, 
we're get, we're getting taxed anyways to pay for these schools. Um, the biggest the biggest thing is is could you imagine like just I know this is a scary thought, but could you imagine if Google was in control of teaching kids with no government enforced curriculum, like how how much smarter in five years kids would be? Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm not saying that Google is smart and that they didn't obtain their size through the force of government. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, is that they have some of the smartest people on planet Earth working at Google. And if those people hired with all the money that they've collected, intelligent other intelligent people to de- design curriculum, it would outpace any government school. And you would have a group of idiots in society. Those people would be called government school attendees. And sorry to go on a long rant about it, but that's I, <laughs> I really, really hate the school system. And my my aunt is a nurse, uh, or uh, I, uh, is it my I, I do have an aunt that is a nurse, but my aunt is a school teacher, and me and her have went bound and bound about this. And I and I just say that public schools are used to prop up teacher unions who almost always vote Democrats, um, or or they almost always vote for one political party that runs that union, and. Uh, we're all robbed to pay for those teacher salaries, and the salaries go to the union. The union money goes to the politicians. So essentially, the the politicians are writing their own check at that point. And she sees the problem, but she doesn't see how to get out. You know, a lot of people see the the cell, but they don't see <clears throat> where the keyhole is. You know, I talk a lot with my um, my mother, my sister. My sister is actually working uh, in the public school. She's a uh, speech language pathologist, and. Uh, you know, my mother, you know, I don't know if I said on the show last time, but she's a uh, Democrat and she's actually admitted to be a, a socialist, which uh, she considers to be a compliment. Or, <laughs> But in our circles, it's an insult, right? <laughs> um, but It um, means that you believe that you don't own yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, among other things. I mean... Um, I mean, it's it's really it's really amazing how you know people have uh, they've associated government with um, their own identities, right? And that, I think that's not a coincidence, you know. Like, um, you know, just the phrase "Uncle Sam," like, what? He's my family. He's my uncle. <laughs> you know, they, they they want you to feel cozy with government. They want you to feel like you know they're looking out for us, right? And also, I think it's um it's an interesting coincidence that people who emerge from government schools are. Um, uh, often in favor of government, right? Like, is like, don't they see like, w- is that a coincidence? <laughs> like, how many people emerge from government schools that are that are you know free thinkers and like you know actively trying to uh, undermine? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. It's, it's not a common. It's not a common <laughs> no, no. Thing. You're 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 right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a ninety-nine to one ratio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and 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 if you know, it's all, it's all about like you said the uh, the appeal to authority, logical fallacy. You know, it's like you know might might equals right, and you know they don't encourage. Um, peer-to-peer problem solving, right? It's always, you know, appeal, you know, seek the, seek out the authority. You know, you have no freedom of speech, no freedom of association, um, <laughs> and uh, and in in many ways, it's quite indistinguishable from prison. <laughs> not least, yeah. of, not least of the fact that they use the same transportation buses for prison inmates that they do with children. <laughs> oh, and they'll throw your guardians in prison if they don't. Get a special waiver to not take you to this prison. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, know. even you, well, even down, even down to the way they design them with the drab colors and the you know the concrete, uh, the wall, <laughs> and and the, and the disgusting tile. It's uh, yeah. It's, it's meant to demoralize um, and not actually educate. You know, we make the joke all the time. Well, it's not really a joke, but we, we you know we call it indoctrination. Um, because that's that's really what it is, and it's it's teaching conformity. It's a uh, it's it's a one size fits all. You know, I was saying before about my mom, who was finally getting out after thirty plus years as a teacher, at elementary school, and she just couldn't take it anymore. And you know, even she sees what what's going on. Um, and she, she doesn't agree with uh, the rest of the things I believe in, but at least I have her on this one. Uh, but it's not, you know, it's not just with the common core. I mean, that's just the that's just the latest. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's, what, it's really what no different now. than what they've been doing for years. Well, no, it's just it's more. Well, not now the government, regardless of what they say, because I was before I, I was in, in that battle right before I finally gave up on the system altogether and and accepted uh, anarchism and and voluntarism. 
uh, it was, uh, I was, I was still with the tea party and, and helping people out with that. So I, I, and all the defenses about how it wasn't really a real thing in the end, of course it is. Cause that's where the money, the, that's where the money's going to and coming back out from. And that's where, so, so yeah, to that extent, it's just a little more centralized than it used to be. But ever since the Prussian system was, was introduced in this country, what, 125, 150 years ago. Uh, that was that was the downfall of education ever since then because it, it teaches it teaches the kids to conform and not to be free thinkers like you were saying Danilo before about how they don't leave you know how many leave um, and, you know I, I think your um, estimate might even be a little uh, 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 low there Dave um, I think it might be even higher than that uh, percentage wise of how many free thinkers actually come out thankfully these days it, it seems to be more at least. Uh, if you judge social media and the, the, the people I've come in contact with over the past couple of years, there seems to be a lot more younger and younger people that are starting to get this, uh, which I'm both thankful and jealous of at the same time, because I wish I had had the, that foresight uh, back then. But um, yeah, it's, it's always, it's, it's always been bad. Uh, I, I, I railed against it most of the time I was in it, uh, even though I got good grades. Um, cause I was able to memorize the stuff and I never did, I never did much. I did the minimum amount of homework. I always crammed for tests to do before and always got A's because that's all you really have to do is it's, it's memorization and it's, you know, giving you mindless work to do, um, to make you, to make you feel educated, but you're not actually learning anything, which is why the whole homeschool and unschooling movement, uh, has such, has, has such a greater potential for churning out free thinkers and having people that question everything and, and, and leading to a more a, a definitely more educated populace. I would, I would say that homeschooling has the possibility of doing that, but homeschooling in the wrong hands could make an even worse case for a an appeal to authority. You know, the the but I will concede a point that uh, the quicker people realize that public schooling only serves to keep pumping out people to serve the fascist state. That's all it's for. Um, the, the, the quicker I think it will see its demise. So I think <clears throat> what we have to do as liberty a activists, or, or I hate the word activists, but liberty-minded individuals is tell at least one person, um, why do we get robbed to pay for schools like would a market for higher learning not exist um without a uh, state forced monopoly or it's not a monopoly but a state forced uh you know That's sector enough. of it so well it, it is a monopoly in the sense where it, even if you homeschool you have to abide by certain government uh curriculum re regulations so yeah, depending on the most states are like that. Yeah, I know. I know that it's like that here in New York. There, there's a bunch of hoops I'm going to have to supposedly have to jump through. <laughs> so that means you need to get out of New York, right? Escape from New York, Kurt, Kurt Russell style. Well, believe me, I, uh, I, I it's it's high on the priority list. <laughs> that, New York has to be the shining, like the shining example of a fascist state, right? Uh, like, I, yeah. I, I think they're probably. Worse than uh, Weimar Republic right now. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, Unless you're Jewish, of course. But well, Cal California is bad too, but to, to different to different extents. They both have, you know, California is a little more free with the marijuana and stuff like, like that. And uh, but uh, over over here, it's. Uh, I mean, I don't live in the city. It's worse in the city, but over over here, it overall, it's it's pretty bad. They uh, they, they any law they can pass. They will. <laughs> well, there's just so many people out there that believe that they know what exactly is the best for you, your offspring, and your family. And I think that idea is so wrong. And I, I don't really understand how anyone has that. And, and I used to hold those things like, oh, we need, you know, conservatively ran school systems. And <laughs> I'm, now that I'm thinking about that, that's completely idiotic. It would never work because it's a liberal construct. Uh, on the status paradigm, it's a liberal construct. So any attempt at it is going to always end up in liberalism or uh, uh, liberal, uh, more socialist leaning, uh, fascist supporters. So.